In this video, we are going to compare Javelin AD Protect to Microsoft Advanced Threat Analytics. We ran a PS exec to the domain controller to make sure ATA detection is working. Here, you can see we are running the latest version of ATA. After each attack, you will see ATA's dashboard on top and Javelin's dashboard on bottom, highlighting the difference between their capabilities. Round 1. Computer Information Gathering Through all of the examples, we are going to use the same PowerShell backdoor for the remote attack. For this specific attack, we will start by finding the Crown Jewels computers. On the right screen, we see the Victim Windows 7 machine. And on the left, we see the Attacker CNC server. After running the backdoor PowerShell, we now have remote control. You can see it's the same PowerShell process ID. So now that we have remote control, let's start the hacking. We are going to query the Active Directory only for computers with HTTP and SQL SPNs. In most cases, these kinds of SPNs represent high-value targets with lots of company data. After the attacker performed this type of reconnaissance, we see that only Javelin managed to detect this activity. Going into Javelin's alert dashboard, we get more information about it like the malicious source and the servers that the attacker was trying to recon. We also have an extensive forensics report that is able to automatically get more data about the attack, such as the malicious processes and the attacker's intent. Round 2. User Information Gathering In this scenario, we are going to use the same backdoor, but this time trying to find an admin user to compromise the network. Let's start the hacking. First, we are going to find who is connected to the victim machine. And we are going to check if IIS Admin 1 user, which is connected to the victim machine, is an admin on the AD perspective. Indeed, the IIS Admin 1 is a domain admin that the attacker can potentially abuse and compromise. After the attacker performed this type of reconnaissance, we can see that only Javelin managed to detect this activity. Javelin's system identifies this activity as user information gathering, which is exactly what happens in this scenario. Round 3. Lateral Movement Attempt In this scenario, the attacker will try to move laterally with the obfuscated information that he has. And we will see how Javelin managed to detect it. Let's start the hacking. The attacker is using Mimikatz to extract ISAS credentials from the victim Windows 7 machine. The attacker now has IIS Admin 1 password and he theoretically can move laterally since this user is a domain admin. The attacker is trying to move laterally using invoke WMI module with the data he currently has. Here, the attacker is trying to move to the HTTP server that we previously found in Scenario 1. And again, only Javelin managed to detect this malicious activity. Javelin system identifies this event as credential theft using overpass the hash with all of the details needed to understand exactly what happened. Round 4. Mitigation ATA doesn't offer any capabilities to mitigate the attack. There are only detection options. You'll see now how Javelin will contain the specific malicious PowerShell process. As you can see, this PowerShell backdoor is still active. Inside the Forensics Report, select the process you want to contain and hit the Mitigate button. A few seconds later, this backdoor is contained and can no longer harm your network. Thank you all for watching Javelin AD Protect versus Microsoft Advanced Threat Analytics. Please visit our website for more information.